Hi, my name is Jennifer Von Stein, and I'm the resident artist for Chroma. Today I'm going to talk to you about the different degrees of transparency and opacity with Atelier Interactive Professional Artist Acrylics. Now, as a professional acrylic, interactive comes in varying degrees of transparency. You can have a paint that is transparent, semi-transparent, or opaque. And this is all determined by the actual pigments in the paint itself. The easiest way to figure out whether a paint is transparent, semi-transparent, or opaque is simply to look at the label. If you look at the label, you'll see that there is an open circle for any type of paint that's going to be transparent, and these paints are going to be wonderful to use for glazing when you want to have something that has a thin film on top so you can see the color that's underneath. A circle that is half and half, like here in the cerulean blue, that's going to indicate a semi-transparent paint. They're also very good for glazing, but they also ha will not give you quite as much of that translucency. And then, of course, an opaque color, like Brilliant Magenta, one that has a full circle, then that is going to be an opaque color and cover up the, in the underpainting completely when it's used at full strength. And I'll demonstrate here. What I've done is that I've painted a strip of black here, and I've let this dry. And now I'm just going to squeeze out some of my colors. I've got some transparent yellow. Off to the side. I'll put out cerulean blue, which is semi-transparent. And I'll put out my brilliant magenta, which is opaque. Now, any color when it's laid on pretty impasto, a little bit heavy, it's going to be opaque. But when you kind of thin it out with some glazing medium, such as our clear painting medium, or even just a little bit of water to get to that undertone, that's when you really start to see the transparency. So here, with my transparent yellow, right now it's covering it all up, my black. But with just a little bit of medium, you can see how that glaze of transparent yellow, it's applying and it's turning that black to more of a green. My next color that I've got here is a semi-transparent color, which is cerulean blue. Again, applied in full strength. With that mass tone, it's going to be, you know, very opaque, dipped into a little bit of medium. You can see that it's more of a semi-transparent color. It still makes in changing that black, giving it a different shade, making it more of, of a blue-violet. But here on the white, you can see that it definitely has a little bit of that translucency. And if I added more medium, I'd make it even more translucent. Now, Brilliant Magenta is an opaque color. Lots and lots of coverage. Definitely hides that black. Dipped into some medium, you can, you can still see, even dipped in medium, it's still fairly opaque. And that's the difference when you work with paint. So you can kind of, when you're working with a painting, you'll be able to determine what colors really would be best suited for those bottom layers, those base layers. Probably something more of your opaque to semi-transparent. For those top layers, when you want to do some glazing or some scumbling, semi-transparent to transparent colors would be the ones that would probably be best suited for your work. For more information on you know, interactive acrylics and on transparency and opacity, please visit our website at www.chromaonline.com.